The Bloodlines Video Diary Project started as, for me, it was really inspired from the way that inner city children in Philadelphia were being exposed to extreme levels of, of violence. Um, and what I found just from doing basic reading was that the violence was coming from not only outside of the home, but within the home. But you might not know me, camera. My name is Ebony. My name is Dennis Madiri, and um... My eyes gonna be famous, dog. I said, uh, stop. The kid jumps over the desk, knocks the desk over. I run on to like the bathroom door where you rotate into that. And uh, they, they just hit me in my back and I uh, went down on the ground and got uh, body shots in my stomach, my shoulder. I got bruises from it right on my shoulder. And the teacher sanctioned this? Uh, he's, he kept on saying, stop, uh, get off of him. was both of my parents. I mean, she's superwoman for being who she is. I don't think I missed out on anything. I mean, it hurts me sometimes that I can't say that I had a father, but I'm okay with it. So if there was anything you could change, would you want to change anything? Yeah, I mean, I wish she was there for me, but I can't change the past. The idea of having the children videotape diaries of their lives is to allow the ordinary moments a chance to be seen and felt. When I first started the film, I thought that the bloodline was a line of blood of children. But as we neared finishing the film, I realized it was something completely different. The bloodline is the family. It's Dennis's family and it's Ebony's family. The bloodline is them.